Hey guys, it's Keith Brown and it's Monday and it's Tack Room Devotional and we're continuing the same study or topic we've been talking about. It's uh, what direction are you headed? Now we've talked about the fact we need to follow our nose, right? Um, just like when I'm training a horse, the most basic thing, in fact, one of those horses back there is my three-year-old. The first thing I taught him is how to follow his nose. Um, he has to be able to be flexible and give it the bit and be able to be taught to lead, you know, to go someplace. The master has to be able to direct him and so that nose comes first. Well, with us as Christians, um, we too should be aware of where our nose is facing. In other words, if it's always on the horizontal, always looking at things here on the earth, we're going to get distracted. But by looking up and looking to Jesus, with our nose there focused on him, we're going to be all right. Amen? So, the reference scripture we have is 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, and verse 17. Today I want to include verse 16, and it says this, For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and thus we shall always be with the Lord. And all the Christians at this point say, Amen and Amen. We're going to be caught up with God, with, with Christ. But our nose, we should be looking up, expecting that. We should be prepared for that. Amen. But we're going to be caught up with Him. Now, Today and for the rest of the week, what I want to do is, the first one we looked at was to look up, but, and today is, is, is really uh, the same type of, of um, thing that I want to show you, but with a little different twist, because just for me to look up and look to the heavens, that's wonderful, and to know my destination is up there someplace. But there's one that we really need to be focused on, and that is Jesus Christ. In other words, just to be looking up doesn't get us to heaven. But be, to be looking up expecting Jesus Christ because he is our Lord and he is our Savior. So not only do we look up, but we look up anticipating the return of Jesus Christ. As a matter of fact, if you'll go to Hebrews chapter 12, and verse 2, this is what it says. It says, um, Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. So it says that we're to be looking unto Jesus. Yes, we look up, we expect his return, but if we don't, accept what he's accomplished at Calvary, if we don't understand why he went to Calvary, if we don't understand, we're just looking up, but we're not expecting Jesus Christ. We, we're not, we don't have a personal, intimate relationship with him. So yes, we're always looking up. Yes, we're dressing up. Yes, we're caught up in all those things that we talked about. But when we're looking up, we're looking up specifically to look unto Jesus. Now, when we look unto Jesus, you see, and this is kind of our process of growing as, as Christians, we're looking unto Jesus, and the Bible says we're being conformed into his image. We're looking unto Jesus, why? Because he is the author and the finisher of our faith. We're looking unto Jesus because he is the, the expressed image of God. We're looking unto Jesus because he came to earth to show us how we, too, can live on this earth, even though sin exists in this earth, even though we have evil people, even though all these things are going on, Jesus came and said, be like me. Um, Paul said, imitate God. Wow. If he says to, then we should be able to. So we need to look unto Jesus. We need to look up but, and expect the return of Jesus Christ. But it's because of his finished work at Calvary. Amen. That's so very important that we understand that. So we look up, uh, and it's an upward look. Why? Because um, we know that Jesus is returning. Um, and then if you look in Luke chapter 21 and verse 8, it says, And when these things begin to come to pass, now you ask what that is? Well, look up Luke chapter 21, you'll find out. It says evil will abound. It says nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and so forth. 
And um, um, that says that in Luke chapter 21. But in verse 28, it says, And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads. Here it comes. For your redemption draweth nigh. Why? We can count on the fact that our redemption comes. Why? Because we have a relationship with Jesus Christ. We have been looking to him, the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. So he is the object of our faith. Amen. All right. We got more to tell you tomorrow. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.